Hey, welcome to Gigavolt. Uh, today what we're going to do is uh, cover how to use the oscilloscopes in 2A306 and uh, how to calibrate uh, 10 times probe from your kit. So this is part of a series we're going to be doing on all things uh, electronics engineering at Conestoga College. And I think it's going to be a great series. So this is our first video, how to calibrate your probe for your labs. All right, so this is your probe, uh, your scope, and your probes. Uh, you're going to be hooking in, them up to channel one here and channel two. And what you're going to be seeing is basically if you turn on channel two, you'll see it down here. It's controlled by using uh, this right here. And as you can see, we're changing that. This changes the position. And then to change the channel one, you just push the channel one button. And then this changes that as well. All right, and we can change the scale here with this knob right down here. So it, this is your actual channel control, and this controls where you are on your signal, okay, and your time scale. We'll get into those later. Right now, I'm just going to cover how to use the probe and to uh, calibrate it for 10 times. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to turn channel 2 off here. You want to make sure you're on the correct channel you want to set your probe to, to 10 times. Just like that. Then you're going to take your probe, you're going to make sure this head is on it, you're going to connect it to the uh, digital square waveform here, all right? And then you're going to take the lead on it and ground that on the terminal below it. All right, so you hit auto, that will acquire the waveform here then you're going to move this up so that you can just see the bottom of the waveform like so alright and then what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in as tight as you can get on it like this I'm just going to move that there so it should be on edge channel 1 the slope can be either rising or falling and sweep should be set to auto. We're just going to hit capture again here. All right. So we're going to try and get this in on nice and tight without the uh, triggers getting messed up. So if we get in here, you can see it well enough. What you want to do is bring it up to the center of the scope so that this corner is right here on the main center line and that this is set to exactly zero. All right. So it's at zero. We want to get this line flat along the, the bar here. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our plastic screwdriver that came with the kit. We're going to go here on the probe and adjust the compensation. You can see I'm making it worse here. So I'm going to turn it now the other way until it's flat and pretty much have it here if I go too far it's going to look like that so I want to just bring that back so it's a nice flat line and for good results you want to do this every time um, although realistically you don't have to but if you're having trouble with your measurements you'll want to calibrate your probe also, make sure that your probe is set to 10 times right here on the dial. So you have 1 times, 10 times, and reference. You really won't use reference. You'll use 10 times and 1 times here. And as you can see, the, pro the scope is getting different here. And what's fun is that I'm actually picking up some capacitance from the screen when I go here, which is uh, an interesting effect. Alright, that's it for our video, and we'll catch you next time.